Welcome to your Monday Morning Pearl. I'm Steve Keck. Today we're going to kick off a brand new series called Building Champions. In this series, we're going to focus on the most important asset when it comes to closing deals, and that's having a champion. Champions are going to be critical to your success in 2022 because the situation still hasn't resolved for you to meet on a regular basis in a face-to-face -face manner. And what that means is there's actually more people involved in the decision than ever before. Often there'll be silent partners behind the scenes giving insight and in whether your product works or not. And so champions are gonna understand the landscape of what's happening in an organization to help you navigate to the close much faster. Champions come in two forms. The first is an on-premise advocate, someone inside the company that is gonna actively work to help you close the deal with their company. The second would be an outside person of high influence with your decision maker at your prospect. This could be a consultant or a friend of that decision maker that knows them really well and has a lot of weight when they make recommendations. So today, we're gonna to take some time to understand how to identify a champion within your prospect. When you're trying to identify a champion within a prospect, you wanna focus on whether they are part of the business side of the deal or the operational side. So for example, if your champion is the CFO, they're gonna focus on the financial benefits of implementing your product. Whereas an operational person would be someone who's actually gonna use it on a day-to-day -day basis. So those champions are gonna have a different approach to how they help you close the deal. As you're looking at your pipeline for the next quarter, think about this. Do I have a champion? Is that champion on premise or an outside influencer? And are they a business champion or an operational champion? Each one demands a slightly different approach in how you leverage that relationship to navigate your business to a close. But keep in mind, if you don't have a champion, you may not have a deal. So walk with me over the next few weeks as we understand how to get the best out of the champions in our pipeline. And as always, if your team needs help navigating the process of building champions in your organization for a good Q1, reach out to us and let's have a conversation. You can find us on our website or one of our social channels.